Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Resurrection Remix for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Now, as always, this is one of those videos from the series of install and preview. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and look at the installation process of Resurrection Remix for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And then we'll have a first look at this ROM. Now, I have tried Resurrection Remix in the past on other devices, but this is my first time trying it on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. So I'll just give you the first impressions. And as always, is this ROM as good as it sounds or is it a daily driver or not? But before we do that, Here's a card to the latest giveaway, which gives you a chance to win the Redmi Note 5 Pro once we make it to 10,000 subscribers. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. At the same time, if you like motorbikes, you like speed and new travel destinations are your thing, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and subscribe to that channel so that you get regular updates and enjoy those videos. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. My name is Kalash. Let's flash Resurrection Remix on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. All right, guys, so welcome to another install and preview for the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Now, a few things to take care of. Back up all your data, make sure you have more than 50% battery, do this at your own risk and you should have an unlocked bootloader and TWRP installed. And of course, the links are mentioned in the description down there. So download these two files, that is the ROM file and OpenG apps and go ahead and copy them to your phone's internal memory. Now, if you want to know how to unlock the bootloader on a Xiaomi device, here's a card to that. Just go ahead and watch that video and an update to that video is going to come soon. At the same time, if you want to know how to install TWRP in the Redmi Note 5 Pro, Here's a card to that. Go ahead and watch that video as well. Now, considering that you've done everything and you're aware of all the warnings, let's go ahead and do a install and preview of Resurrection Remix. So the first thing that we will do is wipe and swipe to factory reset. There we go. Done. And then go to install and we're going to flash RRO version 6. So that is Resurrection Remix version 6.0 based on Android Oreo. Now, as always, this flash will take between two to five minutes. So please be patient. And once the flash is done, I will show you the next process. Now, things to tell you about this ROM, as I said in the intro, this ROM is pretty, pretty stable. Even the portrait mode is working on the back camera and the clarity is not something that you would associate normally with a custom ROM. So it is on par to be a daily, daily driver. And the best part is when you install AOSP on a phone like Redmi Note 5 Pro, which just costs you 14,000, uh, there are a few benefits. It looks completely different and the feel of the phone changes drastically because MIUI, no matter how light they make it, no matter how optimized they make it, they will never be able to match up the speed of AOSP ROMs because it is a heavy operating system. And this is the 4GB variant that we are talking about. So let's wait for Google Apps to install completely. All right, so it looks like Google Apps is installed. We just need to go ahead and wipe cache and Dalvik and then reboot system, do not install. So the first boot may take between five to 10 minutes. So please don't panic if it takes that long. And that's the new Resurrection Remix boot animation, which I first saw on the OnePlus 5T and it looks beautiful. Now, tell you what, this is what I love about custom ROMs. I mean, the only downside is the bugs, but you know, the, from the boot animation itself to the customization, to the way the ROM feels and stuff like that, is it, it's really awesome. So we'll wait for the phone to boot completely and then we will talk about the ROM's first look. All right, so that was quick. The ROM has booted up. We'll quickly skip through the installation process. See, as I told you, the AOSP look feels Beautiful. It looks like a pixel. I mean, doesn't it? It definitely look looks like a pixel. So that is the first look. Now, what I love about these ROMs is so four apps and four rows. So there are just 16 apps installed and you have Google Play Store. So you can choose to install whatever you want. Now, the first thing that I'll check as I'm in India and Geo is of prime importance. Let's check if it's voice over LT is working out of the box or not. So let's dial 198 from SIM 1. So voiceover LT is working. And before we check the features of this ROM, the second most important thing is what we will check the camera here. Let's go ahead and hit that allow. I think it would be working. Yes, it is working. So the rear cam works, the front cam works. Now this is one bug here. 
excuse the background that's my storeroom but this is one bug here the flashlight always stays on so the thing with the front cam is the flashlight always stays on but we can ignore that apart from that uh, let me check if it allows me to turn the flash off no so it stays on that's one bug there apart from this if let me pick the phone up and let me try to click a picture here so here's a selfie camera how it works it looks pretty pretty neat there's no noise at all in good lightning conditions and here's another picture from the rear camera so the basic stuff that the camera is working fine is great now apart from this if we talk about smoothness it is pretty pretty smooth i don't see any app crashes or anything of that sort we can turn bluetooth off and voice over lt is working the camera is working and if we go to the settings menu let's first go to system and then let's go to about so this is android 8.1.0 and baseband and everything is there the build number and stuff like that let's have a look at the android audio easter egg here there you go now apart from this let's have a look at the configurations or basically the customization options in this particular rom for the redmi note 5 pro so if we go to configurations let me just reduce the brightness slightly for you guys so that you can see better yeah that looks better so there's a ton of configuration or ton of customization available in the Redmi Note 5 Pro Resurrection Remix. First, you have status bar customization, clock and date, network traffic, notification ticker, battery, status bar weather. I'm not going to go to the details of each and every one. We will cover that probably when we go ahead and do a full review of this ROM. Apart from that, you have panels that you can customize. You have quick settings. You have recents, interface, lock screen, buttons, navigation do we have fling yeah that's my favorite you should try it guys so that's dual window for you guys that's back and that's recents and that's home so that's back that's recents and that's home so if you're in this app you go to home screen if you're in this app slightly swipe here okay so that also works to lock your phone so that is what i meant to say that there are a ton of features available in custom roms and this is what i like about resurrection remix because it is highly customization enabled so apart from this if you keep going further you have lock screen customization and you have animations you have gestures you have gesture anywhere you have pie controls miscellaneous I'm pretty sure most of them are working just fine. So yeah, that is the install and preview and the first look at this beautiful, beautiful ROM. As I said earlier, the link is mentioned in the description. You can go ahead and download it, follow the instructions and go ahead and give it a try. Let me know in the comment section, how did it fare for you? And if you have any trouble installing it, just hit the comment section. I would be glad to reply and let you know what the fix for your problem is. Now, apart from this, there is a full review coming up for Resurrection Remix for the Note 5 Pro and Lineage OS 15.1 for the Note 5 Pro. For now, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. If you like this video, remember to like and share with your friends. As always, until the next one, take care, keep smiling. Goodbye.